Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on our new free barometer app. It's available for the uh, Apple Store or the Google Play. It's an Android or iOS device. It's free of charge and it's designed for use in maritime applications and I'll show some of those features now. And uh, also we have a note in our blog spot, I'll put that link in the description, and that's this article here which has a few more links in it and a, and a, and a little more discussion. But uh, this, is the, this is a device and uh, so the first point is you may not know but you do have an accurate or many people do in a modern with a modern phone have an accurate barometer in their cell phone and uh, that uh, uh, but the apps that you can access it's not well let me say first you would not know that because the phones don't have any native way to verify to read or notify no, let you know that there is pressure there. So the only way you would know you have a, f a barometer in your phone is to actually load a third-party app that reads the barometer and then it'll, it'll tell you you don't have a barometer or it'll read the pressure. But these apps and then the trouble is that we have uh, had a problem this is a very powerful resource. It's most likely the most accurate barometer on the boat but um, the apps that interact with it uh, have a broad range of, uh, of a usability. Uh, they do things, uh, some, they do too much is what it boils down to. And so we want to try to keep this simple. And so we've kept this simple and just tried to add the functions that you need. So this is what, oh, and I'm looking at this. I have to reach over and hit it with my phone. Here, this is the icon. And that's the uh, that's the instrument. So it reads, uh, it stores your pressure, it stores your location and the date. So you have to give it, uh, you have to give the instrument uh, access to your location services. That's actually true even if you're not reading the latitude and longitude. Apple requires uh, you to give location services to access the barometer. So even for those apps that aren't showing you the location, you still have to do that. So. It's, um, you just have to turn on location services. And so uh, this reads the pressure and then in, inside, let me go back here to this. Oh, then we have, let me go back in this article in the blog, or you'll see it also on our web page. There is here, um, dependable, oh here, this link here, this is on our webpage, starpath.com, and I'll put a link into it. So if you care to, you can read, you can see more about the, the functions. And there's a full copy, a full copy of the uh, help file that you can read online if you uh, would like to do that, like to do that. So I'll just show, uh, show what these are, and then you can actually, it's free, you just download it. If you don't like it, just delete it. Um, so it reads the pressure. The other thing that this one does that's unique is it will, you can store the pressure. So if I'm reading right now this pressure 108 something and I just hit save, this button here, save, then I can come down to this button here and it'll show that I saved the pressure and the time and the date and it's also showing the calibration offset. Oops, I gotta do it here. So uh, that's that. And then, uh, so in the settings, here's what you have in the settings. You can change the time zone. You can change the uh, elevation units, uh, pressure units, uh, and the normal display. Is we'd like to, this is a normal display for a marine applications, one tenth of a millibar. And then here, if you have an accurate pressure in front of you, you would know how to set this. And I, I'm going to just go through real quick an example. And this is your elevation. So that's, that's what the, uh, and then the help file here is, uh, is, a, is, a law, is the story about why we have these functions. The only thing that's a little bit, uh, let's see, a little bit, oh, got to click here, over here. You see this little dots going across here. You have a way to turn on an averaging. So this is going to average over the past 14 seconds. And that's put in there for marine applications. So when you're in a seaway with waves going up and down, uh, this will average out uh, the average uh, period of a wave, wind waves, about seven seconds. And really the biggest swells will be about 13, 14 seconds. So this will average going up and down. And we've tested this. It works really nicely. You can 
take this thing, go up and down the stair, you know, go to go down on the first floor and read the pressure, then go up to the second floor and read the pressure, and then go up and down the stairs a few few times up and down the stairs while you're reading the pressure, and it'll tell you the average pressure halfway up the, halfway up the stairs, and that all works as it's supposed to. Then you can also go in here to the settings and then just shut that off. If you're on land and you don't want to deal with that, you would just go here and, and you shut the averaging off. Like that. So that's that. So the question is, how do you check if you've got the, and, and the one note we have in here that the sensors in your barometer will generally be pretty accurate, probably within two millibars. We, I've seen them off as much as two millibars, but rare, that's pretty rare really. Mostly as a one or half a millibar, one and a half, two, and two millibars. But you wanna, we want to do this right, and then we have many books that, uh, to explain how to do this right. In fact, you can get a discount on those books, and, and if you get the app, there's explanations. You'll see inside the app where you can get a discount on these books on barometers and our weather resources books. So let me just show right now. For example, I'm sitting first. Um, well, actually, I think I'm going to leave it there because... For those who want to try it, they can do that. Then I'm going to put on another video just in a few minutes that will show how you actually set your barometer, how you determine what this sensor offset is down here. In other words, how do you know uh, if the phone's working right? So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, that's our uh, app, and, you, and I'll put those links in there.